So when I created my very first digital product, which ended up making me around $20,000 as a complete beginner, it took me about a week and a half to create and finish that PDF ebook that I then sold to multiple people to make me money while I slept. Now back then I didn't have AI, but if I did today, I guarantee you, I would have launched that product in one day and probably scaled it to six figures within six months. So now in 2025, when I see people spending weeks, hell, even months creating their first digital product my heart really goes out to them because it's like i know they have the hustle i know they have the drive but they're just doing things the old outdated way i know you have goals i know you have things you want to achieve so just use the ai it makes selling products so ridiculously easy it honestly feels a bit like cheating but honestly i'm all for having an unfair advantage so in this video i'll share with you 10 ways that you can start using ai to create your digital product and by the end of this video if you follow what's in this video you will have your digital product launched this week a lot of you guys are getting stuck when creating your digital product because you keep going back and forth about what idea to create I don't want ideas and ideation to be a thing that stops you anymore. We're gonna use AI to help with this. Now before, what I used to recommend was going to various comment sections and Reddit threads and Twitter threads or whatever about your chosen niche. So for example, mine was hair care. So I used to recommend go through Reddit and see what are people asking, what do they need help with, what is the common problem that they're facing, and then from there you could create a solution to that, whether that's an ebook or a course, and you would do this on, you know, various social medias. I used to recommend a site called Answer the Public as well, which if you look at their pricing, you can see that it's like $990, even up to $2,000 for a lifetime, which is a lot. That's why we're just going to use Claude to do that for us. We could also use ChatGPT for this. I'm gonna go back and forth between Claude and ChatGPT. Use the one that you feel like is best. If we're using Claude, do you see this research button here? This is what we're gonna check. If we're using ChatGPT, we're gonna go to the plus button and then hit on deep research. This way, rather than us having to go through Reddit and go through Twitter and go to answer the public and everything to see what our target customer is complaining about so that we could make a product, we're gonna use the AI to do that for us. For this prompt, I just said, I'm thinking of creating a digital product around homeschool templates, workbooks, and resources. Could you scour the internet, Reddit, Twitter, forums, all this stuff, and find out as much as you can about my target audience so that I can create a suite of products for them. And then I'll press enter, and ChatGPT is going to ask me some follow-up things. After you answer all those questions, just let ChatGPT work and it will spend the next few minutes creating a very detailed report for you. Now, whichever product that we choose to use, a lot of you guys are letting the website stop you. And I get it because that stopped me at first. I really do not like creating websites at all. That's why I always recommend choosing something like Hostinger. Hostinger is good because they're very affordable. That's why I always talk about them. Like plans start at just $3.99 per month. When we're in Hostinger, you'll see that it's very easy. Like I said, let AI do all the work. And in this case, let AI create the website for you. All you need to do is enter a brief description of what you're selling. Honestly, the more detailed that you are, the better, but I just put this, you know, just to show you guys, it could be short. Now this is gonna give you your website. It even added a video, it added text, it added pictures, things that people can click on. There's so much that is here. It's honestly impressive. Now what you need to do is go in and like customize the colors, for example. But other than that, you have a website that is ready to go. Hostinger does have a built-in AI writer, but I think that tools like ChatGPT and Claude just give you a bit more detail and a bit more personalization. So what I would do is I would screenshot any area of the website that I don't know what to write. And then I would take that screenshot and I would add it somewhere like Claude. Now, Claude is good for having things sound more human. And so I can say, can you create my website copy? Now, copy is just the words that is in um, marketing material. That's all that copy is. You don't need the research feature down here enabled for that. The regular one is totally fine. So it says, okay, skip the prep. Your homeschool just got easier. I don't know, I like that. And that's 
a lot better than what Hostinger's AI gave us. So we can do this for any part of our website. We don't even need to change the images. The images are good. One thing that we do need is a custom domain because right now it's just gonna be some generic one that Hostinger gave you. Now for your domain, I recommend going with a dot store domain specifically if you are selling things on an online store. This is because with a dot store domain, they actually did research and they saw that dot store domains brought in 87% more website traffic and had a two times higher ranking on Google. And if you're a beginner starting out, I feel like why not just get the unfair advantage, right, compared to other people. It's also cool because people like Michelle Obama, Mariah Carey, Mr. Beast all have their dot store domains because they see how much of a benefit it is when you are selling. People come and they're like, all right, this is not just a regular website, this is a store and I know that I'm going to be buying from a store. The reason I like to recommend dot store domains so much is because if you have any other type of domain, you don't get access to as many good deals as you do if you had a dot store domain. For example, with elevate.store, you're gonna get $2,500 worth of discounts on all these things like Shopify, AutoDS, SEMrush, Upwork. Whereas users of other domains, they only get $1,600 worth of discount. You get 2,500. So the more that you can save, the better. If you're serious about selling online, then go ahead and get your .store domain. I have a link in my description that's gonna get you a discount, 99 cents for your very first year. The link for that will be in the description. And thanks so much to .store domains for sponsoring this part of the video. Now, AI isn't just going to create our website we can have AI create and design our entire product for us. And there's a few ways that it could do this. And I'm gonna be using Cloud for this because I feel like it has the most features. Now, what most people do is they write an ebook or something like that using AI, which is totally fine. But we're gonna take this a step further and actually connect Cloud to Canva so that it can create everything for us, including the design. The way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna go in the settings of Cloud and then go here to connectors. And you can see we have a few different options. I'm gonna press the Canva connect. From here, you can give Claude permission to be inside of your Canva account and do things like create designs, create new folders, really anything that you wanted to do by just clicking on allow. So now we're back here in Claude and I just said, can you create a lead magnet, which is gonna be a five page guide about Montessori for homeschooling parents and make it for elementary, make it in Canva and add images as well. Now, of course, guys, I'm just using a homeschooling as an example. This could be something that is good for, you know, teachers and stuff like that, but input whatever it is that your niche is, and then Claude will create it. Now, right now, Claude is using generic knowledge, but if you are somebody who has specialized knowledge, like you are a teacher, for example, or you know, you're making something about pets or fitness based on your own knowledge, Claude has a project section that you can use. And you see here that it says add a relevant context for your project. You can upload any kind of documents or files. This is where you add your own information, right? Your own insight, your own thoughts, stuff like this. And then whenever you have a conversation, Claude will pull from your documents to then create something. So if you already had, you know, a list of information or brain dumps or whatever ideas, you can add it to this and then Claude will create something in Canva that is exactly to your own knowledge. It's just helping with the actual design of things. So you can see it took a few seconds, but Claude gave us four different options. Let's look at how these actually came out. Now, AI doesn't always get it right. So when it generated this, it only generated the home page. So I guess the AI could only create one page at a time, which is super annoying. So I just went back in and I was like, dude, generate the rest of the information. From here, you can see it writing the entire thing. So we can just copy and paste it into this document. It's just a limitation of Canva. I guess it cannot create multiple pages, but this is crazy. Which leads me to my next point. You can have AI create all the content for you. So you see all of this that it created. This is insane, but we don't have to just stop here. We could have it create our emails. We could have it create social media posts. So if I wanted to use Claude to do that, it would be very easy. I talk to it just as if I'm talking to anybody else. And I say, give me five emails that I can send to parents, make them full of value and completely ready to go. And you can see Claude actively in real time writing these emails for us. Do this for anything that needs to be written. Now, a lot of you guys, your problem is not 
that you don't have the product, it's that you do not know how to market your product so that people can actually find that. And that's the most important part of this, right? So don't worry, we can use AI to create our marketing plan. So what I'm gonna say is create a 30 day marketing plan for me. I don't wanna show my face, I'm a qualified teacher, but you can put whatever it is that is related to you. Maybe you don't have you know, more than one hour a day to spend. Maybe you have a lot of time to spend. Maybe you have you know, three kids that you need to look after. Maybe you're a caretaker for somebody. Um, maybe you have a chronic illness that you need to take into account. Maybe you live in a rural area and you know, there's not good internet all the time. Maybe you live out of the country, you know, you live somewhere in Asia. You can put all of this in here and then the AI will give you special customized information based on your situation. So it's telling me on a day-to-day -day basis what I need to do. How can you even be confused when you literally have this? I mean, it's telling you the plan for any type of platform, blog ideas, examples to put in your bio. It's telling you something that you could do to build social proof so that people can trust you you even have something for the budget like these are the tools that you're going to need and how much you can expect to pay for it it even tells you success mantras that you can tell yourself this is crazy it is so extensive and that's why i'm saying there is no longer a need to take longer than a week to create your digital product when you have all of these AI tools to help you. Now, what if you're a person who you want to do all these ideas, but you don't want to be on camera, you're not a social media person, well, that is no longer a problem with AI. One of the things that we could do is actually use AI to create this content for us. And this works for most niches, but if your niche is something that you need a lot of trust and you really need your face there, then don't do this method, this next method. But if you wanna be faceless, then we can use AI avatars. Now this person that you're looking at is not a real person, it is completely AI, but you wouldn't know unless I actually told you. So we have software that we can use, for example, HeyGen is a really good one. There's also this one called um, Synesthesia. What you will do is enter some text and it could be from this plan. And then that text will then be turned into an actual person who is going to present that information. That is so crazy. Now you could even do it to where it is your face and it's like your clone going out to work for you and create this content for you. This is especially good if you don't want to tie your face to it and you would just rather somebody else present the information, like why not? You don't have to be on camera like me, like wondering how you look and stuff like that. Now this is a good method, but this is a method that you only want to do if you have money to spend because if we look at this um, prices and stuff, it can get quite pricey, like, you know, $64 a month. That's not nothing, but that's probably like what you're going to need because it's like, okay, 360 minutes per year. And with this pricing, it's like, okay, 39 per month. You can have videos up to 30 minutes. Like you really do need the paid plan is what I'm trying to say. Um, but if you don't want to spend like this, then you're just going to have to either show your face or you can do this next method, which is using voice clones to create your videos for you. Now with this method, what would it look like? Well, maybe you have some videos like this and in the videos you are talking over it. Hey parents, you know, what are three good ways to provide, you know, education for your homeschooled kids? And then it's a free video and then a voiceover over that. Not everybody has a really good microphone to use. They might want to use professional voices. So what we can do in 11 labs is we can type a sentence like, hey parents, if you homeschool your elementary aged kids, listen up. And then we can go here into the voices and use any of these voices. We can use one of 11 Labs built in voices and they have some of the best voices on the market. Or you can even create a clone of your voice and then use that. Let's be honest, homeschooling can be overwhelming and even boring at times, but here's an easy fix. Instead of teaching math, reading, and science separately, you pick one theme, like space, and weave it into every subject. That's how I would create the content because you can see 11 labs, it's just $11 per month. That's a pretty affordable price. You can create so much more content than if you're doing something like synesthesia where it's like $64 a month. Now, if we didn't wanna just 
us rely on, you know, these images, or if we wanted to create our own images like product mockups and stuff like that, we can use AI to create any type of images in our business. We can do that a couple ways. We can use ChatGBT to do that and just type our prompt into ChatGBT, create me an image of a homeschooling parent or something like that. Or the better way is to use Midjourney. Now Midjourney is one of the best image generation softwares. All you need to do is go up here, you can enter your prompt. And if you're like, where did you get this prompt? I just asked <laughs> Claude to create a list of relevant prompts that we could use. But as you can see, Mid Journey creates things that looks like it could be a picture. Then I can actually go back to my website and use that image here. And we have a custom image that nobody else has. Now, when you are selling these things, you want to audit yourself and see what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. You also want to audit your competition to see what they're doing wrong and what they're doing right, what you can learn from them and what you can do better than them. The way I like to do this, and I will use my channel as an example, maybe I was your competition or something like that. I would screenshot my channel i would put that screenshot of their website or their social media or whatever it is even a link to their website would work what i would say in claude is this is my competition please analyze them and see the opportunities for me to beat them then this is important i want you to say put it in an interactive chart what this is going to do you can see claude starts coding is it's not just going to tell you the information it's going to show it to you so it's saying that these are the problems and it even gave us some percentages as well we can see the opportunities. We could improve, we could beat our competition by doing these things and it gives us examples. We can also have an action strategy so it has like little checklists that it made for us and also some success metrics. This is crazy, everything that it can generate just from that screenshot that I gave. So this is how you're going to beat the competition because nobody else is really doing this. Something else that nobody is doing, and I saved it for last because this is really for like the hustlers, it's really for the people who see the larger vision. But did you know that even if you had no coding experience at all, AI can do it for you? I mean, we can look and see Claude did all of this in a few seconds, but there's tools, for example, Bubble, that is going to create an entire website or app for you. You don't need to know the line of code. The AI is going to do that. So we can look at some examples, like somebody created a hair coaching app. Could you create an app for homeschooled parents that they use that's going to make their life easier? Or for whatever your niche is, you can create something big, something that you can actually scale to not just 100,000 per year, but maybe even 1 million a year, and you do not even need to be a coder. Somebody else created an app that was like an AI kids story generator where parents and children could create fully custom stories. Could you create an app like that? And maybe you even have a print on demand company that will print the books out for them and send it to the parents, right? This is like how we start thinking big with AI, anything is possible and I want you to start implementing it today. Now that you know what to do and what to use and how to use it, it's all about taking action. So what I want you to do, you don't have to do all of these things, just choose at least two or three ways that you are going to implement AI, set a deadline for yourself and really challenge yourself to get it done. I don't want you to be waiting for some perfect special moment because there's no better time to make money than right now. So let me know in the comments, what are you planning to make first? And if I have any extra help that I can give you in the comments, just ask me. I try to reply to almost all comments. If you need any more help, I literally poured out my knowledge in all of these digital product videos that I will put on the screen. Other than that, I will see you in those videos.